good evening children good evening good evening ma'am how are you all fine ma'am how are you i am good trilokya what about others harshit bhavesh neha shri lakshya there is a new child kedar वीडियो Yes, Bhavesh, Neha, Adya, turn on the videos. Yes, Bhavesh, you have joined twice. No, ma'am. Yes. Ah, now it's one. Otherwise, it was showing two. Okay, let's do. okay children today again we will be continuing with ratio and proportions right okay this week also we will do ratios and proportion only until i take your subjective test and i see your performance in the test till then we will continue with ratio and proportions okay okay ma'am then after that we'll start with either symmetry or data handling okay beta ha i want to see your performance first in the subjective test so this week the coming week will be the subjective test so only after that we'll think of it okay let's begin okay in between if it get disconnected then don't worry because today i have my internet location shifted to different place okay so if it gets disconnected in between then don't worry i'll join back again okay so we were doing some questions here uh yes okay let's start just a second i'll get the ओके चलन
Now see the next question today is fourth, right? Fourth November two zero. Okay, let's take up some more questions. Find the ratio. Take the question. Please do the questions in your notebook and please write the question also. These questions are not from the NCRT book. Find the ratio of now first one is 56 to 63. Please find second one is 55 to 120. Yes, Sri Lakshya. Uh, yes. If you don't know, then you can ha huh, you can just wait. I'll be explaining it now. Okay? okay. If you don't know how to do, then you can listen. And then you can try on your own later on. Let everyone try first, then I'll explain the question. Done. Bhavish, again, it's showing that you're joined from two devices. Ma'am, uh... Ma'am, I got the answer. Okay, beta. Yes. Yes, Nia, tell me answer for the first one. The first one, 8 ratio 9. Okay, 8 is to 9. Okay, next. Bhavesh, tell me for the next one. I am doing next one. Okay, do it. Okay, till then I'll explain the first one to Sri Lakshya. Sri Lakshya, see here. In the first one, we have the numbers 56 to 63, right? That means we have to find the ratio of 56 to 63. 56 to 63, you can write it like this. In the ratio form, now, what I have told you, ratio form is... Answer. What happened? What is the answer? Um, 11 is to 24. Okay, 11 is to 24, that's correct. Okay, now see... We take the HCF of the these two terms. Okay, we have 56 and 63. So we take the HCF of these two. So that means that's both numbers can go with 7, 7, 8, and 7, 9, right? Okay, Sri Lakshya. Yes. So that means we will divide both the numbers by the same common number that is 7 with the HCF. The HCF of 56 and 63 is 7. So we will divide it by 7 and hence we get 8 by 9. And this is how we have got the ratio 8 is to 9. Okay. okay. We take the HCF of the two numbers and then we divide by it. Okay. okay. See, the ratio can be found out by multiplying also and by dividing also. Since these numbers were the multiples of 7, so we took the HCF of this. Okay. Sometimes you have the number in the lowest form. Suppose if I, if the ratios are given to you like this and you are asked to find the equivalent ratios of this, then what will you do? For equivalent ratio, whatever number you multiply it with, that number has to be same for numerator also, for denominator also. Suppose it's 2. In the next case, you take it 3 or 4. You can find as many multiples. Okay? Okay, are you understanding? Yes, ma'am. Now, I'll explain the second one also. 55 to 120. So, the same thing we have to do here. Let's write 55 to 120. What is the HCF of 51? Uh, what is the HCF of 55 and 120? Quickly, find out. Five. Huh? Five. Okay, very good. 
So five, both numbers can go with five, that's 11, and that will be, other one will be five twos are 10, and five fours are. So that's how we got the ratio, 11 is to 24, okay? So both answers were given correctly, right? You understood? Yes, me? yes. Oh, good, Bita. Let's see the next question. Question number two, this was question number one. Okay, now this is some statement question. Okay, please take down. You can write the question. Raj deposited. Raj deposited rupees two thousand fifty in a bank. And in the month of January. And in the month of January. He withdrew rupees four hundred ten from his account from his account on the last day of the month. You can children note down the question from the last day for the la on the last day of the month. Find the ratio of, this is full stop, find the ratio of first part is saying you have to find the ratio of money withdrawn, withdrawn, what do you mean by withdrawn? Not taken out. Yes, taken out. Money withdrawn to the total money deposited. Okay. Total money deposited. Then the second part is money withdrawn. Money withdrawn to the remaining amount in the bank. Okay. After taking out whatever remains, that is the remaining amount in the bank. Okay, everyone start doing this. Start doing this. So, whatever you have, just listen to this. I'll explain you. See here, the first statement, how you have to present this question is, first, write the first statement, whatever we are given in the first line, that is total money deposited. Okay, how much is the total money deposited? Harshit? Yes, Harshit? Where is Harshit? Ma'am. Harshit? Ah. Ma'am, Harshit? total money deposited is 2050. Yes. And how much is the money withdrawn? Ma'am, uh, the money withdrawn is 410. Okay. Mom, I got the answer for both the beds. Mom, I got. What happened? I got the answer for both the beds. Meha, you are saying something? I see your volume is very low, beta. Mom, I got the answer for both the beds. Oh, lovely. Very nice. Okay. So, money left, amount left in the bank. That also is in right. Okay, so amount left after withdrawing, how much amount remains in the bank? That is, we will subtract them from the total money. We will subtract the withdrawal. 1640. Huh. So how much is that? 1640. Yes, very good, Meena. Okay, now you can find the ratio. Now the question goes as we normally do. Now, in the first part, you are asked to find the money withdrawn, ratio of money withdrawn to the money deposited. So, how much money withdrawn to the money deposited? So, that means money withdrawn. Okay, I am writing here amount withdrawn upon amount deposited, right? I am writing like this. So, this is the ratio you have to find in the first part. How much is that, Neha? 
Mom, it's four hundred ten is to two hundred fifty. Two thousand fifty. Two thousand fifty. Then how much you're getting? First one is uh, forty one is to two hundred five. For answer for one first one is five. And one is to five. One is to five. Okay. Good, beta. No. I'm asking turn wise. Okay. Whoever I'm asking, let the person answer first. Then I'll give turn to everyone. Okay. So in this case, the ratio is one is to five. Right. Okay. Now in the second. Ma'am, I didn't understand the division part, ma'am. This division part? Yes. I, not done. I just directly wrote. Okay, see here. See, the last zeros you can cancel. Okay. Yes, Adya? Yes, ma'am. Then, or you can do with the HCF method. Just now what I said, 41 and 205. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Uh, so, if it is to 41, uh, see, they have all the Neha and Harshit have already given me the numbers 1 and 5. So, if I multiply 41 into 5, is 5, 4, 20. It's 205. Okay. So, 41, 1 will be 41, 41, 5 will be 205. So, that's how I get 1 is to 5. Okay. The division is a simple division. You can even do just reduce one one zeros from there, and then you can just divide as usual. You can even do like this. Okay. Oh, not like this. Okay, see here. Okay, children. Okay, so you got the ratio. Amount. You can write amount left. Ma'am, they are already in its simplest form. How much was the remaining amount? Ma'am, if we cut the both zeros, 41 is a prime number. No, no. And 41 is a prime number. Okay, but then you can do with 41, no? This one is number. If you multiply this number with 4, what do you get? 4 and 16. You get 164? Mm. Yes, Bhavish. Okay, so 41. Because 164 is a multiple of 41, no? So 4 4 will be 16 and 4 1s are. So that is, oh, sorry, this is 4. So this is 1 is to 4. Yes, right? Yes, ma'am. But, ma'am, I also think why uh, 1 4, 1 ratio 5, ma'am. See here, uh, um, What's your name? Adya. Adya, this is, the number was like this. See, first I reduced, I cancelled 110 from her. Cancelling 10 means dividing by 10. Dividing both numbers by 10. So when I divide both numbers by 10, I get this. Okay? You understood this much? 
You understood oh. this much? Yes, ma'am, I understood now. Now, when you divide this by 41, how I am taking 41? You can either take the HCF of 41 and 205. Okay, either you can do this also or you can simply divide by 41. Okay? Okay, Adhya? Yeah, ma'am. So, 41 into 5 will give me 205. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so this okay. is the HCF. 41 is the HCF. So, that's how I got 1 by 5. That's 1 is to 5. Similarly, and in this case also, 410 upon... 1640. So first I reduced this zeros. That means I am just cancelling 110 from here. The meaning of that is I am dividing each number by 10. Okay, both numerator and denominator. Like this. Okay. Now again, when I see 41 into 4 will give me. 164. You can see here 41 into 4 gave me 164. So I get 1 by 4. Yes, okay. Okay, ma'am. The division is nothing new, it's a simple division. Okay, now see like, the next question. Divide. In the ratio, divide 60 in the ratio of 2 is to 3. Please start doing. We have to divide the 60 number in the ratio 2 is to 3. Yes. Yes. Yes, Neha, tell me the answer. Neha? Ma'am, I got the answer. I also got the answer. Okay, very nice. Okay, Adya, give me the answer. Ma'am, 30 and 20 and 30, ma'am. 20 and 30? Okay. Ma'am, I got 24 and 36. Okay. Adya, how did you get 20 and 30? What did you do? Ma'am, that will be 50. We add. Uh -huh. See the sum of ratios. If you take the sum of ratios, no, it will be 2 plus 3. Yes? And that's 5. Now see, the first part is 2. The second part is 3. So that means if you take first part. So first part is 2 fifths. Yes? Understanding, Adya? Hello? I directly divided, ma'am, 60 and 2 like that. No, don't do it like that. Okay, see, the first part mm -hmm. is 2 fifths, no? Out of this total 5 parts, the first part is 2 fifths. And 2 fifths of what? 2 fifths of 60. Okay? So okay. that means when you cancel it like this, this will be 24. And the okay. second part, see here, the second part is the second part will be 3 by 5 Hello? into 60. Ma'am, now I got the correct answer, ma'am. Okay, my side this disturbance today. Actually, work is going on this side, no? That's why there is disturbance in the internet also. Okay, never mind. Let's focus on our work.
Okay, so 24 and 36. So these are the two parts. Okay, that means now 60 can be divided into two parts. That is 24 and 36. Right? You get it now? Yes, ma'am, I got it now. Okay, what about others? Neha, Bhavesh, Trilokya, Harshit. Ma'am, can you hear me? Trilokya. Yes, ma'am. Understanding? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, is, so is the ratio 24 is to 36? Uh, no, it's not the ratio. It's just that you were to divide the 60 into two parts. Okay? Okay, ma'am. The number 60, the ratio was already given to you. 2 is to 3. You had to find the actual numbers. Okay? The ratio was already given to you. Okay. Let's see the next one. Okay, children, let's see. Find the ratio of 75 centimeters to 1.5 meters. Please do this. One is in centimeter, other one is in meters. Ma'am, the answer is 1 is to 2. Yes, Harshit. Ma'am, same answer, 1 is to 2. Yes, Mita, very nice. Let everyone do. I'm done, ma'am. Same answer. Okay, how much is that, Trilokya? Ma'am, no, one is to two. One is to two. Great. Okay, now let's see. Trilakshya, look now how we do that. Okay. Now, see, when, now we have to first convert both the numbers to same unit. Okay? Okay, it's always better to convert the bigger unit to a smaller unit. Now, here, among yeah, centimeter and meter, which is the bigger unit? Meters. Bigger unit is the meter. So you will convert meter to centimeter. So 1.5 meter will be how many centimeters? Tell me, Shilakshya. Tell me, Shilakshya. Ma'am, one, one meter is how many centimeters? 100. 100. So we will multiply this by 100. Okay, so when I multiply this with 100, I get 1500 zero zero like this and my decimal point will be here. So that's 150 centimeters. Okay, understood this much, Pa? Yes, ma'am. Now you have to find the ratio of 75 centimeters and 150 centimeters. Now both are in centimeters. Now I have told you, when you take the other, you take the HCF or you can even divide with small numbers. If you divide both numbers can go with 5. Okay. 
So either you can multiply, divide with 5, or you can directly divide with 75. If I take 75, why I'm dividing with 75? Because I take the answer. 75 and 150, okay? So Mama, what the same answer? Yes, so that is one, 1 is to 2. Okay, 1 by 2, so that's 1 is to 2. Okay? Got it, Sri Lakshya? Are you understanding? Yes, ma'am. Ask me. Wherever you don't understand, please ask, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, now let's take another statement question. Please write down. Green paint. Green paint is made by mixing blue, yellow, and white paint in the ratio. Two is to seven is to one. Okay. How much blue paint? How much blue paint is needed to make sixty four liters of green paint? Okay, the question says, I'll explain the question again. Green paint is made by mixing blue, green and white paints. Okay, by mi mixing these three colors, you're getting the green paint. And these Mom, colors... Mom, what four does we need? Yes? Four. Mom, more, we need more four, ma'am. We need more? Blue paint, four blue paint. We need more blue paint. Four, four. Four blue paint. Yes, okay, let's see. Okay, so the blue, yellow and white paints are added in the ratio of 2 is to 7 is to 1. How much blue paint is needed to make 64 liters? So, to make 64 liters of green paint, how much blue color will you use? See, when the ratio is given as 2 is to 7 is to 1, and it is given as blue, yellow, white, yellow and white. So this is blue, this is yellow and this is white. Okay. So sum of the ratios will be how much? Um, okay, 10. Um, 9, 9 ma'am. Um, 10. I'm um, 10 ma'am. I'm um, 10. Okay, now see some of the paint, uh, some of the ratios will be 2 plus 7 plus 1. Yes, how much is that? 10. Ten. Now, blue portion is how much here? Blue is the among the 10 parts, blue is the 2th part. Okay, so that means blue paint is 2 tenths. 2 tenths of how much? Two tenths of sixty-four. Okay, so that uh, when you cancel it, this will be five. So this will become five ones. Will go here five. Two will be ten and okay then twelve point eight. Twelve point eight liters. Okay. Yes, children. Yeah, are you understanding what did we do? The same thing that we were doing when we divided 60 in the ratio 2 is to 3 in the above question. Okay. So when we had three ratios, we took the sum of the ratios and how much is the blue paint? So that's twoth part of the total 10 parts. So 2 tenths of 64. That means the requirement of blue paint is 12.8 liters to make 64 liters of green paint. Okay.
Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. You can write the concluding statement. Blue paint required is required is twelve point eight liters. Right. We'll yeah. practice more such sums in next class also. Okay. So till then you must okay. revise this chapter. Okay. Next week you will have your subjective test on this. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you, children. Thanks for joining. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.